I'm Richard Eyre. Over a decade or so ago, I was asked to direct a film called Iris, which starred Judi Dench as the novelist Iris Murdoch. The story was a sort of love story, but also an account of her illness. Why did you ask me to do it? I asked the producer. And he replied, well, you know about these things. The things to which he referred were not so much making films or directing actors in difficult roles, but a thing I'd rather have been entirely ignorant of, dementia, of which Alzheimer's disease is the most common form. Iris Murdoch was diagnosed with it in 1997. My mother had Alzheimer's too, and she died in 1992. I wish I'd known during her illness what Arts for Dementia has now shown, that engaging in activities involving the arts can override the symptoms of dementia and the stigma of the word. They help to restore confidence and a sense of purpose and of fulfillment. Hamlet says, what a piece of work is a man, how noble in reason, how infinite in faculty, in form and moving, how express and admirable. In action, how like an angel. In apprehension, how like a god. The beauty of the world, the paragon of animals. And the speech goes on. And yet to me, what is this quintessence of dust? A quintessence of dust. That's what the mind becomes with Alzheimer's. You lose your mind, and yet death seems a shame to approach you. Little by little you slip away, and your loved ones never know when to say goodbye. Imagination and emotion are qualities that oddly remain undamaged for years after diagnosis of Alzheimer's. Arts for Dementia is now helping arts organisations nationwide to set up weekly arts workshops to help families embarking on their journey with dementia. 800,000 people in England and Wales have been diagnosed with dementia. It's the two-thirds, 600,000, who live at home that Arts for Dementia seeks to help. We can alleviate physical pain, but mental pain, grief, despair, depression, is less accessible to treatment. It's connected to who we are, our personality, our character, our soul, if you like. The sister of the novelist, Henry James, said, physical pain, however great, ends in itself and falls away like dry husks from the mind while moral discords and nervous horrors sear the soul. If you, your parent or partner, are coping with the early stages of dementia, the challenge of drama breaks through the distress and fog of confusion and releases your natural creative impulse. Taking part in drama workshops has proved so effective to Arts for Dementia participants that they felt their minds were reawakened. Here's what some Arts for Dementia participants said. I'd be lost if I didn't have things like this. I come back feeling full of life. It shows you don't have to speak to express yourself. It's creative. It's lifelike. You don't do it in your own life. My view now is, I have dementia, but I also have a life. I urge theatres and drama colleges to explore the use of drama. Arts for Dementia, working with Alzheimer's Society, provides the training to relight the spark of imagination. <laughs>